I think Lara is the epitome of British class. She comes from a very good background. She went to boarding school, yet, you know, she's still, she's quite a little bit of a ruffian. You know, she's, um, she's athletic, she's adventurous, she's very intelligent, and she's absolutely, perfectly proportioned. Um, she's pretty much got it all. And I love the fact that she's this amazing, good-looking character, yet she's quite deep in the sense that she's extremely intelligent and she's got these crazy hobbies. She likes swinging from cliffs and I just, I think she's, she's pretty inspiring. It's a very, very strange feeling. It's sort of like, Karima is a very sort of, um, really low-key kind of girl. I'm, I'm very comfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm always in jeans, a baggy t-shirt, baggy sweater, my pumps. And then I get into this quite revealing outfit and I put on these extremely heavy boots and on come the gloves and the earpiece and the backpack and the belt. And I just turn into sort of, I don't know, I go into game mode. Um, because I'm very familiar with Lara's sort of, you know, the way she moves and the way she interacts and the way she's always constantly looking around and doing things. I'm like that myself. I'm very expressive. And I don't know, it just... I just turn into... I turn into Lara, and it's great. I think that's fabulous because it helps me get into my character better. It makes me act my role. So, um, it's a good cut-off point between, you know, Karima and Lara. Well, I had just come back from my summer holiday and was very fit and healthy and, and bronzed. And when I came back to London, it was a bit gloomy, so I decided to just stay at home and watch TV and eat lots of junk food. So when I went for this casting for Lara Croft, I was out of shape. But they, they believed in me. They took me on and they kind of said, right, come on, get, get into gear. Um, got me a personal trainer to build up, obviously, my resistance and uh, make me lose a lot of the, the, the poppy fat and I had to work pretty hard. And then I, I trained with the British Army, I had a little gun training, um, I had to get my motorcycle license. I did quite a lot. I had to do the elocution, the, sorry, my jacket's falling in. I had to do elocution, etiquette, and deportment. Um, there was a lot of training involved, media lessons. Um, it was hard work, but I think it's the wisest thing IDOS um, could have done, especially for me, because it's helped me develop into my character a lot more. And it's just, it's, it's nice. I'm not just a model that just stands there and doesn't know anything. Even whether I use these skills or not, I feel like what I'm talking about is the truth and it's backup for me. So I think it was a very, very smart move on their part. <laughs>